Hey guys, what is going on everybody? My name is What's Wong Earn, ladies and gents. Welcome back to a brand new and hopefully awesome tacular episode of the Pirates of the Caribbean Lego video game. We are currently, I think, on the fourth or about to embark on our fourth chapter out of five chapters in the uh, first film. So hopefully we'll do a good job here today so that we can, of course, conclude the very first adventure on tomorrow's episode. Now, of course, don't forget, guys, if you want to see the series uploaded more than just once per day, smackaroo on that like button. That would be very highly... Smackaroo? Really? I mean, why? Why? What? Okay, never mind. Just, again, if you like the series and you want to see more of it, hit that like button. That's always highly appreciated. Let's get rocking. Let's get rolling. Continue story. There's that creepy sparrow face. And there's that awesome loading screen. Honestly, I, I kind of want that as a wallpaper. Like, it looks so cool. Oh, here we go. Sparrow gets to chill out on an island. Along with Elizabeth and a turtle. That's right. Oh. Turtle's like, no, I can't take that kind of weight. Wait, was that a fat joke? She's obviously trying to get him to be a little bit more motivated to get off this island. That was a really creepy smile. Because <laughs> it was just like, mm, look at this, I have a compass. And it's like, uh, great. How does that help us exactly when we don't have a boat or anything like that? We need to first figure out a way off this island. What is this thing here? A sand castle? I mean, really? I mean, look, Sparrow, I'm as big a fan of you as anyone, but it's really not the time. It Okay, I guess he agrees. <laughs> he just built the thing and then just obliterates it. Okay, cool. I don't know why that happens, but... Wait, I wonder, does it reassemble back into the exact same sand? Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, actually? Maybe it doesn't. Oh, it does not. Hey, that's kind of cool. You can rebuild it into multiple different builds. Let's see what the third one is, if there is a third one. By the way, there are some very hungry-looking sharks in the distance. Nope, just the first build again. All right, let's leave that be and see what we're working with over here. Our compass will save us here. I shall head this way, right? I think. Oh, there's a monkey, but it's not that pesky monkey that we dealt with before. Go away, birds! Okay, nice slow walk here. We're getting towards something. Huge palm tree, it looks like. And beneath the tree is... I don't even know what you would describe that as, necessarily. Can we get a banana? Because I'm sure that monkey wants that banana. Guaranteed, watch. I'm going to go out on a limb. Hey, monkey, you want to trade? Oh, are you serious right now, bro? Are you serious right now, monkey? I was just about to trade with you. You are just ruthless. I was going to... Oh, okay. You want a banana now. Now you want the banana. When I brought it to begin with... No, I got to do a little bit of running. Here we go. I don't even know where you found a shovel. By the way, that monkey looks terrifying. Okay. That's an interesting way of eating bananas. I'm glad I've never tried that. Or maybe I have. I'm not going to lie, I did try one time to bite a banana without peeling it. Not not a good idea. Not Let's just say, not a good idea. Yeah. It was one of those, like, uh, kind of not particularly smart things you do as a teenager uh, on a bet with your friends. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll try it. And, uh, yeah, not, not the smartest thing I've ever done. Not going to lie. Not going to lie about that one. Okay, can I smash and bash all this stuff? Can't. Well, okay. I, for some reason, cannot do anything to the... Oh, because I'm supposed to actually pick it up. Okay. That actually makes a lot more sense than what I was doing. So, from what I understand, from what I remember from the film, we're supposed to try to build a giant bonfire so that the smoke from the fire will attract, of course, the attention of the ship that is passing by. So, can we dig this out now? Yes, we may. Wow. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Hidden spot found. Before I leave, I'm going to go up here and get some studdage. Jump down and woohoo. All right. See what we got down here. 
First, we got a lot of studs. We also have a barrel that we could probably utilize for something. I don't think we can destroy any of this TNT because I don't think we have any like explosive weapons that Jack can use, right? On this stuff, can he? I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah. Not really. So, gotta kind of just make do with the sword that we have. Um, is that a barrel switch? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Yes, it is a barrel switch. Whoa, sorry about that, Elizabeth. That was not supposed to happen. That was very, very awkward. Okay, so we've brought part of the bridge back. We're going to need the other part, though, to be able to cross, of course. So that'll be interesting. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh, that's how we do it. Okay, cool. There we go. Teamwork. They must be glad that they're stuck together now. Okay, so we could dive underwater to grab some collectibles. And I would not mind, honestly... Wait, why? Okay, swim up. Why can't I dive, like, further down? How do I... How am I supposed to get that blue stud? If that's as far as... Yeah, that's as far as he goes. Okay. I guess I'd need to use a barrel then, right? Or maybe another character in the future that we will unlock. And then by going into free play, we'll be able... Oh, come on. We'll be able to um, actually get those studs collected down there. All right. Good to know. Elizabeth, lead the way. Okay. Lucky guess. I didn't even know we were going to need her help. Next... Am I supposed to let her just jump there, or...? Hmm. Okay. Sort of confused. Like, what does that do exactly? Can I jump across? Oh, I can! Okay, cool. I did not realize that that was another lever that we could hold on to. And luckily, we just went for it and worked out. All right, now it's Elizabeth's turn to figure out how to get Sparrow across. Let's see. That looks fancy. Give me that treasure. Give me that treasure, skeleton. What the heck are you doing? Are you drinking ketchup? Oh, no. That must be some sort of a little brewski that the skeleton has decided to consume. Okay. Oh, we need a sword for that? Okay, I got you. So they all pull out this, like, drink of theirs, and then and then sort of just don't do anything with it. Okay. So I'm not really sure. Oh, okay, there we go. I jumped to conclusions. I jumped to conclusions. I said all of them without actually hitting all of them. So that's why you got to smash before you trash talk the game. There we go. That sentence made sense. I, I made it make sense. Let's pull up this thing. And now, Jack Sparrow, let's use your awesome sword to activate whatever this does. Ooh, okay. Elizabeth, get us out of here. Where are we? The sun is setting. Oh, the sun is setting, like, incredibly fast. What is this? It was like a slow-mo, guys, there. Video, or I guess technically it would be a fast... Mo, guys. Is that a thing? That would probably not take off, because it, the whole idea is that you want to see things in slow motion. I don't think anyone wants to see things happen fast, right? That'd be kind of weird, but maybe there's something there! Am I just coming up with a brilliant idea for a YouTube channel right here, right now? Somebody's already, already making it happen. As I'm saying this, as I'm saying this, someone's like, okay, I got that idea. Brilliant. Let's make it happen. I don't know what that was. That was like a producer's voice. Like, okay, guys, this is a pretty intricate idea. We can make it happen, really. Hello, monkey. Why are there always monkeys causing us so much trouble? They are just relentless, aren't they? Find and follow something important? Find and follow? Should I follow him? Is he important? Is he not important? He's like, I know what will cheer you up. A drink. Oh, it worked.
What a dance. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Jack, get out of here. You're drunk. Go home. <laughs> He's like, I wish I could. Wait, if he was drinking alcohol, wouldn't that just make the fire go stronger? Uh-oh. She's using your hat. Okay. So we have a strong heat beam headed that way. I guess that's good, right? Let's get some studs. Looks like it doesn't burn us. So like if we walk into its line of sight, does no harm to us. So that's great. Oh, here we go. This would be very easy to miss. Should we ring the bell? We cannot. We don't have a character that can destroy a silver Lego object. Oh, come on. Really, Jack? You were jumping them perfectly, and then you just mess up right as soon as I ask to take control over the character? Here we go. Blue stud acquired. Oh, whoops. Okay. I kind of rushed that. Didn't need to go there yet. Oh, I know what we're going to do with that light. I just realized. Remember all that TNT underground that we saw? That's probably what Jack is going to use here in order to, uh, well, clear his way and make that stuff go boom, boom, pow. Okay. Oh. Oh. What the heck? How was I supposed to know that that was going to happen? Okay. Now we know why we can't just swim off the island. So that's good, I guess. Yikes. That was terrifying. I did not expect that at all. All I wanted was to get those studs that went into the water. What's wrong, monkeys? Why are you so mad, dude? It's the big idea. I'm just building stuff. Man, these monkeys, they just do not like us. There's another pile of uh, wood that we can utilize. Before I leave, get these studs again. Ooh, and would you look at that, a mini kit. That's like the easiest mini kit we've collected so far in the game. Because all, literally all you have to do is climb the tree, which you're probably going to do anyway in order to get some studs. So at that point, what's the big idea? Uh, do I hit this? What do I do here? I mean, there's got to be a way to launch this thing. How do I launch this thing? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What just appeared? What is that all about? Where am I going? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go there. <gasps> oh, I forgot about the shark again. Mm, this is worse than Jaws. Okay, we're going to need to figure out a way to launch that. I don't know how that will work, but we're going to need to figure out a way to get that thing across. That's for certain. Let me go check what's down here now. Um, okay, that was a pretty safe one. Pretty safe demolition there. Actually worked out very well for us. I was a little concerned because, like, why is that thing firing away right as we jump down here? Okay, cool. Let's see what that does. Spin that. Oh, okay. I see what we're doing here. This is like a little reflection puzzle here. No, no, no. Keep spinning. There we go. That was pretty easy. I like this sort of stuff, though, because, again, it varies up the gameplay from just, hey, smash and bash everything to, hey, there's a little puzzle that you got to think about and, like, figure out a way to solve. So, yes, it's nothing intricate, and yes, it's nothing like, oh, my gosh, I'm sitting here for hours and cannot figure out what to do. I agree with that, but I think that it's still cool to have something that is different every now and then to just break up the pacing of the game. So... I don't mind it at all. Can I destroy this? I cannot. So are we going to push that up somehow or something like that? Let's find out. Ooh, what's this? Oh, okay. We need one of the uh, crewmates of the Black Pearl for that to work. Must I bring this back down? Ooh, 
Oh my gosh, that is literally the worst thing that could have happened right there. Whew. Careful. Okay, Elizabeth, sorry about that. I know you literally just started walking down the plank, but considering our last memories of the plank, I'm sure you're not that upset about it because you didn't get to fall off like we did. So there we go. And ta-da! That thing is going, going, going. And... I wonder... I actually do wonder... There we go. Sent that deflection upstairs. I don't know what kind of a factor that will play in the game at all, but I do know that there's more smashing and bashing that can be done up here. Whoa, there's a lot more, actually. And, of course, if we had Marty with us, for example, with his flintlock pistol, we could blow away all these silver barrels, but unfortunately, that is not something that we can interact with at this very moment. For now, I think we're going to... Just go on ahead and head back up top. There we go. So that's the second stack. So now I, I need to figure out, like, how the heck do I get... Uh, that's frustrating, honestly. Because I don't know how to get that third stack over here. I understand that we're supposed to, like, catapult it over. That part I get. I just don't really understand how. Which is a pretty crucial component, really. Here we go. You see? We're building up the fire to be a lot more powerful, which is good. So Jack and Elizabeth can get out of here. But what isn't... Oh, gosh. What isn't good is that we don't know how the heck to operate this thing. Maybe I need to jump on it? Is that possible? Come on. There has got to be a trick to this. Maybe it's this thing. Maybe I need to build whatever this is. I think this is just going to be a boat, though. Yeah, it's like a little sailboat, which is cool and all, but I am clearly missing a very crucial component of this whole ordeal. Maybe it has something to do with this. Aha! There we go. Oh, my goodness. I was honestly getting worried because I was like, wait, is there actually no way to do this? And luckily, I'm wrong. Boom! Oh, come on. It would have been cool if it landed right on top of the actual... Fire right away. That would have been cool. Oh, come on, Jack! Look at Elizabeth. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, okay, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon, I get it. Elizabeth, please get us across. Elizabeth, you're not jumping properly, please! Elizabeth, Elizabeth, okay. Me saying her name multiple times probably does not help this work, but in my mind it does for some reason. Whoa, how the heck would I get that stud right there? I need, like, a flying character for that. Come on. Oh, I got one. Nice. Hey, one is better than none, so that works. And here we go. The final assembly is in place. Is that it? Are we going to be able to be noticed now on this island? Will all this smoke allow us to be spotted? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Jack's like, hey, 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 right here, right here, right here, right here. Look at that. He's a smoke artist, too. And at least they're off the island, right? So that's a good thing. Oh, she misses Will. Like, nope, we're not going there. <laughs> She's like, but marriage? <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought uh, he offered to marry him as well. Smuggler's Den, level complete, free play unlocked. We also unlock Elizabeth in her undergarments. That's not a sentence I thought I'd be saying as we played this game. The true pirate ranking was up to... Wow. Are you serious? It's like getting 98% on an exam. You know, in school where you're like, are you serious, dude? 2% off of 100? Like, come on. What could I have possibly gotten wrong? It's infuriating. It's like, it's much better to be at like 70% than 98. At least in my opinion, it is. 
Uh, let's see how we did on our minikit count. I think we only got one, right? Yep. On that treetop, remember? And we earned yet another gold brick. So now we are up to five. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. As always, though, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. I hope you guys will also subscribe if you haven't yet. And let me know down in the comments section below if you enjoyed the brand new Pirates of the Caribbean film known as Pirates of the Caribbean. Dead men tell no tales, right? Is that how it goes? I think. Nevertheless, peace out, guys. I'll see you later. Alligators.